Some exciting news. I have just agreed to host my very first comedy night. I'm going to be running myself here at the Artillery Arms. And guess what? It's going to happen in two weeks time. My gosh, we've got a lot of work to do. So straight after booking the venue, I organized the Facebook page, the Instagram page, the Twitter page. I think there's even a TikTok somewhere of Too Far Comedy. Yes, that's the name we're going for for my brand new night in London at the Artillery Arms. And I also managed to get comedians pretty quickly. One week later, I quickly did a gig at the Old Crown in Holborn, Rising Star. I say girlfriend, but I recently got married. Beyonce got 27 million in Dubai for that. Uh, <laughs> that went down pretty well so I'm going to give that another go tonight as I get ready to host for the very first time my first time emceeing at my first ever comedy night that I'm running we've got 12 acts one person's already dropped out one person already says they're unable to bring their bringer their plus one but I'm hoping that it will be a cracking night hello mate how you doing Hi. welcome What's your name? I'm Doug. Doug, nice to meet you. Let's all say hello to Doug. Hello. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. It's like an AA meeting, isn't it? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again. <laughs> That's every Tuesday here at the Arts of the Arts. <laughs> Have you seen much live comedy, Doug? Not in London, no. Not in London? Oh. just moved here. Oh, okay. Where, where have you come from? Brighton. Brighton, yes. <laughs> that is, that, that's where I'm from. Right. Seagulls. Hey. Shit on your heads. <laughs> I'm still buzzing from that first night of Too Far Comedy. As you saw, my first effort at crowd work was pretty decent. And the audience, well, they were great at clappering. I want to hear lots of cheering, clappering. Oh shit, clappering's not a word. <laughs> lots of cheering and clapping. And I want to go absolutely crazy. So let, let's give that a go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Desmond. <laughs> I referenced some of the axe material in my very own way. Just a little reminder as we were talking about bald people. Bald people love rugby. Uh, so don't forget to come here for the Six Nations starting on Saturday, I think. Uh, a, little, a little segue there. Anyway, I've brought the room down now. So. All in all, I can't wait for next week. I was at home practicing my hey what's your name what do you do <laughs> i was practicing with my wife and i was like hey what do you do oh you said actor <laughs> and then i had a joke which i'm not gonna take it was terrible and then I went to the next person oh you're an actor my wife goes richard not everyone's going to be an actor <laughs> and i said well i was practicing my jokes from a to z and it's as far as i got <laughs> So, any other actors in the room? No, see, disaster. Right. Join us next week when I get to the letter B. <laughs> One of our acts have decided to bring a first date. I think we all want to know how the date's going. 